Hey guys, look, I put eyeliner on last night and I'm, I'm a mess and I know, how are you doing? I'm just checking in. Um, I'm very slow when it comes to like, I got so much to process in my mind that it, that it's, uh, very hard because, because I concentrate a lot and it's very hard because, uh, there's so much. You know, every day there's so much. Right now, I didn't even do my housework. I'm so behind. I, uh, <laughs> that's what I'm telling you. I haven't been able to go for a walk and I'm really pissed about that because there's lots of reasons. And, um, I, I have so much. There's so, there's so many important things in this life there, there is not enough time. Um, believe me, I'm not slacking off. And that's probably like all of you. We're, we're just behind because there's so much. Okay. There, there's so much. And we have to look out for each other. And that that's, that's what, what I'm really interested in. Man, my nose is itching. Did somebody, did somebody make my nose itch? Okay. So anyway, um, it's been really cold here in Michigan and it's really bothering me, but the sun is starting to shine, but, but it isn't that great, but <laughs> you guys are so lucky. I'm going to kick your butts. All right. So anyway, I got, uh, a couple more things to listen to and everything you guys, but sometimes I get so distracted. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with me? No, really. Um, Sometimes when you have neurological disorders, I'm dead serious because I know I do. I know I do. My body and my pain throughout my whole thing. Uh, I'll go to bed at night, but but that's why I'm trying to tell you that it affects my brain. And um, you guys can all tell my brother to go get screwed, please, because, uh, you know, he said bad things about me and, and told me, like, for instance, to our dead mom that uh, on her page... Your daughter is dumb, dumb as fuck or some shit, and she has to get her head out of her ass. Well, okay, my head is out of my ass, and I've been doing a lot of things like taking care of my autistic son and doing all kinds of shit and carrying a job at the same time and, and doing all these things, and you could just shove it up your ass because you're dumb, and um, there's a lot more important things in life than to be picking on your sister that supposedly loves you. Okay, so uh, one day maybe you'll realize that and that I am out for your best interest, which somehow you must keep throwing people off like I do myself because you've been abused. Okay, but you won't admit you've been abused. Okay, so there, there's my fucking rant for that. Anyway, okay, but dead serious. And I'm not trying to be all, you know, Steph knows it all, believe me. And, and please forgive me if I ever come in any of your videos and... And if, uh, you know, there's questions, everything, I get involved with this kind of stuff. Oops, I just whew, breathed real hard. But I get involved with this kind of stuff. That, that's my problem. It's like, uh, oh, sometimes you can't let things go because they're so important. And us people out there that need people to look into things, uh, us people that um, really, really need advice or help like meaning with things that are so out there so beyond so the unexplained we need people to support us okay i'm, I'm running out with, with no phone calls let me try to call i probably guess i'm still here oh good see because they freaked me out but, but, but we need things like that. We, we need, we need somebody to, to look at it again and this and that, because being, being in a family of, you know, peep people that have not even a family. I mean, geez, my problem was my family until I got away. I couldn't even think straight, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, Getting away from it and getting out of it um, after you've been in it for so long and then, and then being able to know 
you're not crazy, which you always thought you weren't crazy. But being able to know that you aren't crazy and once you get out and it could take a long time and things like that. But uh, having others who have been through the same thing and will look to, because a lot of times we take it as a bad thing. Like, for instance, being an empath, I feel like it's a freaking curse. When I was in the group and everything on the narcissistic stuff on Facebook, they're like, it's not a curse, okay? So, but, but, but I do feel it's a curse in a way only because, like, that's what I'm trying to tell you about this whole video is that I get wrapped up in things because I need, I need and they need to know the answers that then, you know, and then, and then see what I got to do because I'm such a sensitive person is, that, okay, my house didn't get cleaned on time, my this, my that, whatever, you know, but I've always been up against pressures of need it now, need it done now. And I've always been around those people that, you know, are like that. And that's bull crap. That's another thing that I'm trying to get over. And no matter how long you have been out of it or trying to get over it, I'm telling you what, that shit is always in your mind. It's always that little teeny voice in the corner telling me, oh yeah, you're crazy. You're nuts. You're stupid. You're dumb. Oh, you're just imagining things. Oh, that's just a coincidence. Yeah, whatever. No, it ain't. So you keep playing your games. <laughs> To all those crazy people and we are going to keep figuring out but that's what the enemy will do is keep you busy on stuff that you shouldn't but i'm trying to tell you what don't let that be the case when you're trying to do good okay we're not all sitting out here trying to do bad we're trying to help each other so these cases and this stuff that we're doing is good we're not doing it for the bad and you know just we talk to friends and things have been said and I, I can't even get the words right now but just like you said it, it, it isn't coming to me it's on the tip of my tongue and I, I, I lost it Well, put it this way. If you want to tell a lie, make it as closest to the truth as possible. But look at it in the other way. <laughs> you know, there isn't an opposite for everything in the... I was going to say the Bible. That's not what I meant. The dictionary. There isn't an opposite. I used to have people come against me and say these words, and there was no opposite. It was like... If you were to say an opposite, you're going to look like a, 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 a total loser and that you don't know what you're talking about. And that's what these tricksters do. So uh, once we, you know, just even more and more each day realize what they're doing and they're not out for your own good, you know, yeah, but we already know that it's just getting past that shit because it keeps happening so you know what and then they probably sitting here laughing at this whole video whoever would watch it that was a narcissist like for instance you know people in my family so yeah my, my arm's shaking but that's what I want to tell you neurological disorders and stuff I know that I have one I have problem with my nerves and everything because my back's so messed up and I've been laying in bed and I, I wake up and both of my elbows are just stuck in place and stiff you can't move. I even have that with my ear. If I lay on my right ear, I'll wake up and my ear, I can't even move away from the pillow because it hurts so bad. Now, what is that? I don't have an ear infection. I, it's something. So like, like you're all saying the four, 420, I, I just, um, not good at doing that one hit and I'm, I'm yeah like my friend says she knows who she is you're in the couch okay that's me on everything except one time when we had a friend that isn't here anymore because all of my friends have passed away or been on things okay but listen they were the best people they were the people who knew things they were the people who who were sensitive could see um, 
a lot of us drink and and do things because to help us okay so I don't believe the alcohol killed them or or the the drugs there's so many other things okay maybe you'll strike me on that one but like, for instance, my mom died of an accidental overdose. She didn't die from her non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. But because the, the disability was so bad that... You see what I'm saying? I can't speak it yet, but one day I will. So anyway, I have to go to the bathroom really bad because... Um, yeah, and um, I hope you have a nice day. And if this video sucked, please dislike it. And if it, it, it was good, please like it. So, um, but I don't, I don't give a shit about any of that. So I give a shit about all of us being able to live another day and, uh, not be shaky and, and, uh, not have pain and, um, all that because it would be so much better. But, but, but you notice though, all those other people, okay, I'm saying all those other people like who, like, uh, the ones that are cruel and mean, uh, they don't seem to have any problems at all. So, you know, good for them and good for us. That That's what I'm saying. Good for us. So let's keep doing what you're, we're doing and um, keep posting the videos and we're all communicating. We're going to help each other. And that's thank you so much for helping me and, and listening and uh, all that. See? Okay. Yeah, my arm. It, it gets so stiff and then... It's so numb, and then I, I can't even, uh, you get the point. Okay, I'll talk to you. Love you. Bye.